Not too long ago, we took a look at the K-Play upgrade in a video, and I thought it was fairly interesting. It missed the mark a little bit, in my opinion. It was a two-player arcade stick that was Android-based, but it could be used for other consoles and PC. You could break it in half and have two different arcade sticks. I thought that was kind of an interesting concept. And in that video, I mentioned that there is another K-Play two-player stick that seems quite different, but I'm not 100% with what everything's going on with it. That's what we have here today is the K-Play. I'm not even sure. It's supposed to have around 3,000 games. I think it's just called the K-Play. Uh, I'm not positive if this is a Android-based system, a system running Pandora. I'm not sure. Looking at the listing on Ploy Lab, which is the company who provided this to me for purpose of review, there it is. Not really much in the way of protection holding this in. I haven't messed with this thing yet. We're gonna mess with it for the first time in this video. But on the listing, it just says it has like almost 3,000 games. Doesn't really give too much in the way of specifications. So not 100%, but we will find out. See what's in this back. There's no manual, is there? We'll check underneath. HDMI cable, uh, power brick, nice thick, uh, Brick, right? Thick cable for the thick brick. Just the way these arcade sticks like it. And we get a couple extra buttons. Okay, let's get this set aside. Get this thing out of the box. Get the box out of the way. Wait. Oh shit, this thing is heavy. This is, yeah, this is an all metal construction. No manual, no manual. Odd. Usually these things come with some kind of uh, manual. I'm giving you some information anyway. So here it is. Fun Family K-Play. That's the, uh, the brand is Keku, I believe. I don't know if I like the aesthetic of this one. This might work for a child or something. You know, a little kid's fun room. Looks like we got some booger action on here. Looks like a decal on top of this metal. Don't really like, there's a lot of little plastic like shards coming off of this. I think it might be from the decal, like it wasn't trimmed well. Um, got a little bubble there. Yeah, some scratches, some dried booger action. You can see that, I don't, I don't know. Huh, <laughs> just screams quality. Big ass scratch on the bottom. I'm not gonna trip on that too much. Yeah, this thing is, uh, all metal construction painted with this creamy orange color. Okay. Buttons, sticks, two player, A, B, C, D, E, F. Very similar to the layout of a Pandora box. One and two player button. Let's see the inputs, outputs, and then we'll get this thing plugged in and see what it actually is. So there we go. We got a couple uh, speaker grills back here. So I'd imagine we have uh, speakers in there, I would hope. Power rocker. USB ports, little button, volume slider, uh, audio jack, 3.5 millimeter jack, VGA port there, HDMI, and the barrel jack for power. And then another button here, I don't know what it is because there's no manual with the, uh, the one I got here and I see there's like a little hole in the metal. I don't know if you can see that. A little hole in the metal back there. Okay. I would imagine this is a Pandora box in here because a lot of times they have this little button for the menu. So you know what? Sticks, buttons, feel about average. Out of 10, maybe a five, five and a half. Little clicky, we'll see how responsive they are though. But they don't feel horrible. They don't feel great. They feel, you know, right in the middle somewhere. Workable most likely. So let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in and test it out. Okay, moment of truth. Let's go ahead and power her on. Oh, you can see the reflection there. That little button on the back glows. K-Play, oh my God. Are you, are you cereal? Who made this parent-child entertainment platform? We got, we got Kobe on there. Is this the Kobe play? Is that what they're trying to... Uh, Get across here, what the hell am I looking at? The K-Play, they have their own interface. Okay, speakers do work, the audio is coming out of the speakers. We have 239 pages. 
Um, is there a way to cycle through genres? Press the C button to search. Uh, all right, let's... We've got the King of Fighters games. It does tell you... Okay, AES, the King of Fighters AES. We have some hacks. Nice little, uh, you know, snap action going on on the side there. Parent child entertainment plow. You know what? Where's that menu button? What is this button in the the lit up the lit up button's not doing anything. Let me zoom up closer. Oh my god. We could do custom buttons, system config, what's in that? Uh, free play quality optimization, turn that shit off, it just smooths it out. Joystick settings, so you can plug in, you can plug in controllers. God. God, that, that was so loud. I, I turned the volume off on the monitor too, cause that, that crap's coming through loud. Okay, so joystick settings, you could, you know, mess with joystick stuff if you wanna add a controller, like an Xbox controller. Game settings. Okay, you could change difficulty, lives, all that, that good stuff for per game. Bookkeeping, inside speaker, you could turn that on or off. Um, and then save settings and, re and reboot. That's pretty much it. Okay, we cannot get out of this screen without rebooting. Kobe. I, I do like that picture, but I, I don't know that it, they really should be uh, using that as their, you know, loading screen <laughs> type of thing. Like, this is the Kobe play. I thought it was the Keku play. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's a Soldier Boyed up console. So, I mean, you know, everything's off limits, essentially. <laughs> but wow. I mean, and they even, you know, I'm sure they didn't draw this. I'm not familiar with this image. I mean, I can't be 100%, but you know, they got their logo on there and everything. Interesting. Okay, back to the game list. Bunch of King of Fighters, Crouch Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Got a lot of uh, Neo Geo stuff right off of the bat here, but it doesn't appear that there is any way to, um, cycle through the different genres or systems or anything. Maybe this is just all arcade games. Marvel vs. Street Fighter vs. Capcom. All right, I'm just gonna scroll through fast forward action. Mortal Kombat 4, huh? <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, you got some... Are these really the arcade versions? Normally they just... They put some uh, 3D games on here and they'll be the uh, PlayStation 1 versions. Let's find out. But you saw through that game list, Kobe. You saw through that, that game list a ton of Neo Geo stuff. Lots of ROM hacks. More than I even knew were out there type of thing. Um, but yeah, there was a ton. A lot of Genesis games, Sega Mega Drive, NES, a ton of arcade stuff. So um, that's where we're at with, with what's on the system. A lot of arcade, NES, and Genesis games. Button layout's all wonky, so you'd have to so you'd have to change that up. It's just a just the PlayStation version, bunch of oh my god! Since I don't know what any of these buttons are, kind of screwing things up. But okay, we got we got some we got some PlayStation games on here. Misrepresenting them as arcade versions. The stick and the buttons feel fine. Let's go ahead and get out of this, though. Okay, we pressed that lit up button to, to exit. 
a little, a little misleading with that. No 3D arcade games, just a handful of uh, PlayStation games. Let's go back to the beginning. This sucks, man. Like, you have to search to, like, because there's just so many games on here. Oops. I put strip. Let's check out Third Strike. This volume slider on the back is overly sensitive. Not the English version we have here. Incorrect button layout. Um, I, I can't stand when these, like, when you make an arcade machine like this with a six button layout, it should be pre-configured to Street Fighter, and then you're fine for pretty much everything, um, for the most part. A little bit if you see the uh, screen tearing. We got screen tearing. We got screen tearing. I've seen enough of that. Jackie Chan. This game never runs well on anything, it, it seems. <laughs> kind of sluggish and a little uh, glitchy. These games take hell long time to uh, to load, man. This this is Mortal Kombat One, and it's playing worse than the game runs on my mom's vibe. This is fucking ridiculous. Look at do you see what? <laughs> we got two frames per second here. Get over here an hour later. <laughs> okay. There's gonna be some stuff. I just I gotta end it here, man. I gotta end it here. This thing is 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 a joke. With the Kobe Bryant splash screen, which kind of um, like I said, I don't know how I really feel about this. Uh, not really knowing anything behind this machine, as I can't find any actual specs. I'll put what I know up on the screen for you. Uh, the build quality is just okay. I mean, it's kind of weird uh, with all this booger action on the thing and. I, I don't know. I don't know if I really like these full metal systems here. Um, I'll try to get this open, show you guys the inside at some point in the video. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this one's not great. I mean, very bare bones as far as what you could do with this Pandora box-like system. Parent-child entertainment platform. Yes or no? For me, it's a no. Appreciate you guys. Peace out. Bye-bye. And boom. Bye. Thumb butt.